A second set of advanced features that we'll preview at this time are the drive mode features. Drive mode allows you to determine how the shutter will respond to your pressing the shutter button. Taking just a single shot, taking high speed continuous shots, that's five shots or frames per second, fast compared to most SLRs. Taking low speed continuous shots, that's three shots or frames per second, the maximum speed of many SLRs. Taking just a single shot, 10 seconds after pressing the shutter button. This is called self-timer, allowing you to step into the shot or to simply keep your camera very still at the time the shutter releases. Icons within the LCD will tell you how many continuous shots in a row your camera is currently capable of. As a general rule, you can do more if shooting smaller JPEG formatted pictures than you can by shooting large RAW formatted pictures. Another tip, if your battery is low, your camera will not fire off shots quite as fast as it would if your battery were fully charged. While you can't control the camera manually in sports mode, the camera will automatically be set in high speed continuous mode if you select the sports setting. Again, this advanced feature cannot be controlled unless using the creative zone exposure modes.